Hi, this is Kenny Lee, and we're going to do a torque lab today. So I've already got this set up with the center at the fulcrum, at the center point, or the center of mass, of the meter stick. Now that's different than the center point. The center of mass is at 50.2 centimeters. So that's where this is located. Over here is 0 centimeters, over here is 100 centimeters. So it goes across. And since I've got this fulcrum at the center mass of the bar, we don't need to worry about the mass of the bar at this point. Now when I move the fulcrum over, then the mass of the bar itself will create a torque on the system. But right now we're just going to leave that at the center mass. Both these hangers have a mass of 15.1 grams. And so I want to place them on here and we're first going to set this up so that we have different masses on each side so different forces and we are going to balance it that way so I want to move this one in okay these masses are 50 grams a piece so I'll put one over here and we're on this side so it's still in balance because they're at different locations. And so I'm going to put some mass on there and start roughly trying to balance them out. So I'm limited for masses, so I'm going to have to adjust their spacing as well. But the objective is to have two different masses on each side. So we have to figure out the actual torque. So this is another 50 grams. Over on this side, I want to put a... This looks like 10 grams. And I am going to, let's say, make a little bit bigger difference in mass. So let's put another 50 over here. And I want to move it in. Until we balance again. Right there is pretty good. That's not bad. All right, so let's look at these positions. So I want to come around for a little bit, take a look at these positions, write them down so I can put them up on my board. So we're going to cut for just a second. Okay, I'm back. So this one is at a position of 32.3 centimeters. And this one's at a position of 89.9 .9 centimeters. Now, remember when we find torque, it's the distance from the fulcrum that matters. So remember, this one is at 50.2. This is at 32.3. Again, 50.2. And this one's at 89.9. .9. Over here, we have a total of 50, 100, 150, plus 15.1 grams. Okay. And on this side, we have 50 plus another 10 plus another 15.1 grams over on this side. And so we need to figure out the torque on each side and see if the torques clockwise balance out the torques counterclockwise. So you can do that calculation. Now, let's see what happens if the fulcrum is not at the center mass. So I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to move it to about the 40 centimeter mark. Now the center mass of this board is at 50.2 centimeters and I've just put this at 40 centimeter mark. So again, the mass holders are 15.1 grams. This is 50 grams, so I'll place this on here. And we want to balance out the system again, so I'm going to put another 
50 grams on this side. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's put another 20 grams over on this side. All right. Put another 20 grams on this side. Okay. That's not too far off, so let's try. This is 5 grams we're putting over here. Oh, well, that tipped them out. So I want to move this in slightly. Till I get it balanced again. That's not bad. Let's get just a hair. There we go. Let me get the measurements for this, and I'll tell you what they are. This one is at 14 centimeters. This one is at 87.3 centimeters. And my fulcrum was at the 40 centimeter mark. This side we have 50, 100, 120, 140 plus the 15.1 grams for the holder. Over here we have 50 plus another 5 and then the 15.1 grams for that holder. Again, and most importantly, the meter stick itself has a mass of 70.6 grams and the center of mass is at 50.2 centimeters. Now we've got two torques on one side and one torque on the other, but they still have to add up to a net torque of zero. So calculate what the torque should be, and let's see if they match what is actually on the device. All right, thank you, and I'll let you get calculated on that. Goodbye.